unencumbered by patents uh, video solution. Uh, so we're pretty happy about that. And of course, you all know about Android, which is our open source, source operating system for mobile devices, uh, which I think, given its rapid rise, uh, is really demonstrating the power of openness on mobile uh, platforms. So, so, so why would we actually do all this? It seems counterintuitive, uh, but it's clearly not altruistic. Uh, it makes a lot of sense to us. It's an open internet that creates a steady stream of innovations. It attracts users and usage and, frankly, grows the entire uh, industry. We've got an alternative business model, a set of advertising applications that uh, are going to help us monetize the over overall growth of the platform as it gets bigger, and it will only get bigger with, uh, with this kind of openness. We're not the only ones who are, who are doing this, looking beyond the kind of traditional model of, of software licensing, um, and that's what software as a surface, uh, service basically is all about. But the end result is, a, is really a collaborative effort to, to make the internet a bigger and a much more exciting place uh, by the common embrace of, uh, of openness. Uh, open standards uh, and interoperability, that's something that Commissioner Cruz I think uh, covered uh, pretty clearly. Uh, I was going to point out that her, her quote from uh, a couple years ago that choosing, choosing open standards uh, is indeed a, a very smart business decision. Uh, and I think we couldn't agree with that any, uh, any more. Uh, basing our, our developer products on open standards wherever they exist and, and wherever they work well, uh, it really matters uh, because interoperability is a criti critical el element of consumer, uh, consumer choice. Uh, the Commission's di digital agenda recognizes standards as one of the, one of the key focus areas, and you've heard uh, Commissioner Cruz uh, uh, go through that. So it, it should be pretty clear by now, you know, right? Uh, you know, it ought to be a anathema for any government uh, organization uh, entering into uh, procurement decisions. Uh, you know, they shouldn't be choosing things that will lock them in to proprietary standards. It seems pretty obvious. Uh, and Europe can and should contribute by ensuring that governments use open standards uh, and, uh, and strengthen uh, the open standards uh, uh, against abuse. So I very much welcome that uh, the commissioner is showing leadership again in this important uh, area and that they're going to issue a communication to guide uh, the public authorities uh, on these issues. Uh, finally, uh, open networks. Uh, uh, this is something Europe, uh, I think, has it, it, got pretty right. Uh, and uh, most EU, EU countries uh, actually have uh, quite a bit more competition than we see uh, in the U.S., and, and that competition means uh, greater adoption, faster uh, connections. I always uh, enjoy coming to Europe uh, because unlike, you know, driving from San Francisco to Silicon Valley on the major thoroughfare of uh, supposedly the, the most technologically advanced place in the world, 